Okay, so I have an example here. We're going to use substitution to solve this. Substitution. So when I look at this equation, I have x equals a negative 2y minus 5, and 3x minus 4y equals negative 25. So I ask you, what does x equal? x equals a negative 2y minus 5. That's what it says. So this x also equals a negative 2y minus 5. It says it right here, x equals a negative 2y minus 5. That means I can replace x with a negative 2y minus 5. So 3x becomes 3 times a negative 2y minus 5. I now have an equation and I can just solve it. A negative 6y minus 15 minus 4y equals negative 25. Combine like terms. So y equals 1. What does this y equal? It equals 1. What does this y equal? It equals 1. I can take this y and plug it back into either of the equations. So I have a coordinate. The x was negative 7 and the y was 1. This is the point where these two lines cross. One more example. Going to use the same technique to solve this system of equations. What does y equal? It says y equals a negative 5x minus 30. That means this y equals a negative 5x minus 30. So I can take this and put it right there. So I have x equals 42 minus 5. The y equals a negative 5x minus 30, and I can do a system. I can solve this, and I get 42. I'm going to have to distribute. Got to be careful with your distribution. I can combine like terms. And now I can take 192 and divide it by a negative 24 to see what I get. Looks like x equals negative 8. I know what x equals. It equals negative 8. That means up here x equals negative 8. This x equals negative 8. So I plug this into either equation and I have this. If I put it in the top one. So y would equal 10, and the coordinate where the two lines cross is negative 8, comma, 10.